Good evening, and welcome to St. Matthew's. It's been dull, dull all day, and now, several hours after sunset, the darkness has well fallen. The longest night has begun when darkness seems to prevail. We may well feel that darkness tonight, and may well feel full of dread as Christmas approaches. Whether in the past year or longer ago, we are living with loss. And we particularly feel it at this time of year. The turn is coming and slowly and steadily we'll notice the lengthening of the days again. But tonight, in the dark, in our loss, we look to the light of the Lord. And we affirm in the words of John, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. We gather tonight to pause and to reflect, to remember and to give thanks as we call to mind those loved ones for whom we grieve, we meet to remember that the Lord Jesus Christ offers us hope through our pain, can bring joy from our mourning, and shines light in our darkness. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Lord Almighty, Come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. We sing our first carol with our face coverings and plates, O little town of Bethlehem.
Bible reading tonight is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9 and beginning at the first verse. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future, he will honor Galilee of the Gentiles by the way of the sea along the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Someday, I'm hoping to visit Dava Forest outside Cookstown. Although I should probably say some night, uh, I'm hoping to visit it. Last year, it was designated as Northern Ireland's first dark sky park. And observatory. It's far enough out in the Sperrins that there is little light pollution and so it's dark enough to be able to see the stars in a way that we probably rarely see them. It's intentionally situated in a place of darkness. We're so used to street lights and car headlights and the normally reliable electricity supply for bright lights in our homes, that it's only really in a power cut that we experience some kind of darkness. But for the people of Isaiah's day, darkness really was dark. And he speaks of people walking in darkness, living in the land of the shadow of death. And that's where we may well find ourselves tonight as we face this Christmas when it's dark, when death has overshadowed us. Yet Isaiah gives us comfort and gives us hope as he says that the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned. As pervasive and as powerful as the darkness may appear, the light will always overcome it. Light triumphs over darkness. Even just a little bit of light from a single candle drives back the dark. And here Isaiah is speaking of a great light, of a light dawning. He's speaking of something like floodlights at a stadium or a glorious sunrise defeating the darkness. And this great light comes in the form of a person, this child born to us, this son given to us. Jesus is the light of the world who stepped down into our darkness to bring us his glorious light. He walked in the land of the shadow of death. He stood at the grave of a dear friend and he wept. In his life, as he went about doing good, his light shone brightly. 
and yet his light was snuffed out, extinguished, crucified, killed. As John 3 says, light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. In the hymn, in Christ alone, uh, we find these lines. There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain. Then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave, He rose again. Darkness seemed to have the upper hand, but it could not conquer the light of Jesus. Jesus defeated death so that his light shines and will shine forever. In Revelation chapter 21 and 22, at the last books of the Bible, Uh, the last chapters of the Bible, uh, John is given a glimpse of what the new heaven and the new earth uh, will be like. He tells us what he sees there, but he also tells us what he does not see there. He says, there is no more night. There's no need of sun or moon or the light of a lamp because the glory of God gives it light and the Lamb, the Lord Jesus, is its lamp. Jesus is the light of the world who comes to meet us where we are, to drive out our darkness, giving us comfort in our grief and hope as we look to the future he has prepared for us in the kingdom of light. So may we know the light of Jesus in our darkness tonight. And may he shine on us and in us as we trust in him. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you have not left us in the dark but that you have come to bring your light. Shine your light on us tonight. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. We're going to sing now again, Love Came Down at Christmas.
neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. As we come to Christmas, we are mindful that it will provide for us time together with loved ones. It will also be a time to remember those loved ones who are no longer with us in this life. In silence and stillness, let us reflect with thanksgiving on the grace and mercy they received from God for all that was good and true in their lives and for the memories we treasure today. We particularly remember from this parish those who have died in the past year. Jim Steenson. Brian Douglas. Reggie Elliott. May Reynolds. Alan Caldwell. B. Jennings. Tracy Wilson. Ronnie Troughton. Trevor King. And all those we have loved and lost. for all your blessings in creation, for the beauty of earth and sea and sky, for all your works, and for the wisdom with, with which you have ordered them. We thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name. For the happiness of our earthly life, for all our powers of mind and body, for faithful friends and for the joy of loving and being loved. We thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name. For all your servants departed this life in your faith and fear, 
for the example they have left us and for the blessed hope of reunion with them hereafter. We thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name for the great salvation given to us in Jesus Christ, for his suffering and his dying, for his rising again and his ascending into heaven. We thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name. For the hope of a new heaven and a new earth, for the place that Christ has gone to prepare for us, and for the promised vision of your glory, we thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name. Father, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, in the pain of labour, Mary brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer and all who mourn. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, the angel sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, we bring our prayers to you for ourselves and for others in this time of quiet. <coughs> Holy God, hear our prayer. And we join in the words that Jesus taught as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We sing our closing carol, Silent Night, Holy Night. <laughs>
Christ, the Son of righteousness, shine upon you, gladden your hearts, and scatter the darkness from before you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.